So, the X30 Senior is our penultimate heat one. Uh, you'll find out what's next after this. Luke Taylor will be on pole position with Sam Heading in the second. Third is Thomas Mullet with Christian Brooks in fourth. Top five is rounded out by Christopher Bingham and Louis Johnston Cool that was in the sixth. Seventh, Reese Newburn. Eighth, Lucas Grote. Ninth, Thomas Fleming. Tenth, Niels Coolen. Eleventh, Brandon Machul, with twelfth being JP Sleater. In 13th is Carly Atkins, 14th Archie Forber, 15th Cho, Joe Charlton, 16th Harry Torby, 17th Benjamin Southgate, 18th Fisher Patel, 19th Marcus Littlewood and 20th Harry Cottrell, 21st Jensen Buckingham, 22nd Hugo Gilbert, 23rd Remy Gilbert, 24th Lucas Allingham, 25th Oscar Joyce, 26th Sam Shaw, 27th Jake Yanagisha, uh, apologies about this, Yanagitawa. 28, Jordan Brown. 29, Alex Johnston. 30th, William Smith. And finally, in 31st place, Tom Ryan. Looks like we should be fine this time around. We are indeed, no flashing yellow lights. Means we're good to go through the first corners. They do indeed go. That's the 174 of Luke Taylor taking the lead. Moves up to the inside to cover off Sam Heading. In that number seven, definitely, as you say, one to watch out for. All managing to make it through Christmas, just about okay. Bit of side pod, side pod action between the few of them there, but just about all right. Down into this really quick right-hander. No one making any contact, just about. We've heard a few squealing of tyres there, but all keeping it on the black soft just about. And here they continue. There you see the 99 of Lucas Ellingham. Quite a tall lad and looks pretty tall in these carts. Head sticking up and out a bit but just managed to keep it on the black stuff. Very much in the battle there in the middle of the pack. The head through the boot. That was a late move down the inside. The 82 as Christian Brooks trying to make it back through. As wide, that's the 21, was that? Yeah. It was indeed the 21. That was Christopher Bingham. So Christopher Bingham just getting forced out wide there as we come through to finish lap one. Luke Taylor still leading. Sam heading right behind, but no, that is a lie. It just changed to the final section of the corners. And the number seven now in the lead. Big move up the inside of the number 82. Uh, so I believe that was... Lois uh, Johnson Cool going up the inside of Christian Brooks for fourth position. Uh, but you're right, there is a change for the race lead heading. Oh no, that's number 42. That's never the way you want to go back to the pits, is it? Under your own steam and not under the engine's power, unfortunately. But heading in the race lead, and you're going to have to be a brave person to bet against him at this point. Exactly, that was the worst flint turn car I've seen in a while. <laughs> you're supposed to have the feet holes under the car, not be running beside it. But yeah, sadly for Harry Cottrell out of this one. Wide goes to 14 as well. The 54 slow too. Who is the 54? Dropping down the order. That's Remy Gilbert. Another big name. Cart just saying no thank you. Comes to a halt. I think uh, William Smith might have dropped a few as well. No, that's one of our novices. Sorry, down the back. Just battling. Look back, Looking back on screen though. The 174 I think has dropped another position. Indeed, Luke Taylor now down into third. That's Thomas Mullet. They're now in second. Sam heading over the fastest lap of the race at 45.67. One of the only drivers in the 45s, of course, there was Johnson Cool, Thomas Fleming there in the 45s too. Nothing from Lucas Ellingham just yet, still in 11. Game 5 on that last lap though, so still one to watch. Not quite into the top 10, but hopefully we'll see that changing at the end of this lap as they come through to finish another one. But look at that lead that Sam Heading's already built out. 1.6 seconds already, and just as I say that, Lucas Ellingham now in 10th with the fastest lap of the race eye out on for Lucas Ellingham. He'll be appearing in our cameras sooner rather than later, but we're actually focusing again on that fight for second mullet and the 40 ahead of Taylor, who seems to be maybe not quite have the pace. Obviously starting on pole position has just been overtaken by Johnson Cool as well. I think Johnson Cool has managed to just about get through. Can we see it just as they go through our shot? I believe it has. And the number three of Fleming might have gotten through as well. There's a lot of smoke, a lot of uh, dust, sorry, being kicked up coming out of Ashby's at uh, 61. Oh, big lunge up there, the inside, no. Um, who was that? Is that Brooks making their way through Brooks, Johnson yeah. Cool? It was indeed, you're right. Was it on Johnson Cool? Yeah, it was indeed, so Johnson Cool losing a number of positions on that lap. Uh, sorry, no, just the one. The timing updated, the jump right back up the order again. So just losing the one for Johnson Cool there, down into fifth. Christian Brooks gaining a couple. It was actually Luke Taylor lost seven positions on that last lap on the 174. We've got a crash up at Christmas Corner. The 25 and the 61. The 61 not too happy with that one. That's 25. Cool. So it's JP Slater and Lewis, Lewis Johnston Cool there. So Johnston Cool 
been completely stopped. Let's have a watch of that one again as you come up to Christmas Corner. Watch the two in the middle of the pack there. To the inside goes the 25. A little bit late. They're going to make contact. And yes, just squeezes across. Across the front bumper he goes. 25 rejoins and the 61. A few hands in the air. Not too happy with that. Let's look at that late move of the 73 into the boot. That was so late. Makes the position work though. And up through goes the 73 with Harry Torpy. I think that was on Christopher Bingham. It was indeed. There was actually quite a few drivers. It was up three places on that last lap. as those two we saw having a crash earlier at Christmas. Dropping down the order. Uh, Torpy just put his car into a position where he let the driver in front decide whether they were going to have a crash. <laughs> he basically. did, didn't he? Yeah. The whole Ayrton Senna route of racing. Yes, yeah, a think. little bit. Uh, whether it's frowned upon these days or not is a different matter. They didn't make contact and he's got the place cleanly. Sam Shaw, I believe, overtaking Christopher Bingham on that previous oh, oh, through Christmas corner there as well. And again, more moves uh, through the infield. That's, that's the 11. Ellingham. Yeah, that's the, yeah, Ellingham getting past Marcus Littlewood. It was indeed. Gives the little tap on the helmet as well as he goes through, saying, don't resend me again, mate. I'm, I'm going forward here. Do not do that. But as you say, another position for Ellingham. Is that up into fifth now? It is indeed. And another fastest lap of the race last time around, down 44. Wow, look at that. 44.72 for Ellingham. Our leader heading, 44.73. So both of them pushing up well. But Lucas Ellingham setting that lap whilst passing through traffic. So that's extra extra impressive from Enningham however I think catching that leader heading probably going to be a bit out of the question now with only three minutes to go and around a three and a half second gap between them but I think P2 is still very much on the cards it is indeed I just saw the 73 take a big look so we'll, yeah they'll uh, focus on this battle here this is the uh, 40 that's Thomas Mullet just ahead of now Christian Brooks oh, oh look at Ellingham go Ellingham just looking like he's got another it's, it's like he's got extra grippy tyres isn't it <laughs> Sending the momentum through doesn't seem to have to break. He's got the ultra soft on. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> He's got the aerodynamics involved, <laughs> I think that's the thing. I haven't seen, actually, just about to say, I haven't seen human DRS come out just yet. I'm pretty, <laughs> sure, pretty sure I saw Lucas Ellingham uh, apply that down the back straight. As, he, as I say earlier, he's quite a tall driver, so I think him over some of the other ones but it's probably going to help out a little bit more activating that, that uh, human DRS already right on the rear bumper of Christian Brooks in the 82 looking like he could already be setting up a move not quite there but Lucas Ellingham very much up for it so as we say Mullet now leading Brooks now leading Ellingham just behind is Blending and Littlewood is for a move for second Ellingham's going to follow through and might even take both of them does indeed read that situation perfectly did Lucas Ellingham up into second place he goes and now calamity ensues behind Brooks went very, very wide. Nothing to do with the old oil or whatever we had on the circuit before. It was more to do with the fact that he got hung out there. The great opportunistic move we saw in the cadets. They tried to do that as well. I'll get back to that in a second because the number 11 and the 40, that's Marcus Littlewood in 11 and Thomas Mullet in the 40 going side by side through Christmas Corner. Just about holding it together for the time being. No, although Mullet goes up the inside. No, sorry, Mullet getting hung up around the inside. Out of here. I tell you what, <laughs> Littlewood overtook the Mullet. There we go. That's what I was going for. They swapped around three or four times in the space of a sentence. And they're still oh, going as Mullet makes contact with the number 41. And that's uh, Carly Atkins. I think they've carried on, haven't they? I think they've yeah. all carried on there. Yep, as Lucas Ellingham, another fastest lap of 44.4 that time around there. Chasing down the leader, but only a minute to go and three seconds between them. So I don't think that's going to happen. But this battle continues to rage on between these two. A bit of good of contact being made. 73 down the inside there. The 67. 67 is going to be losing two spots there. That's Reese Newburn losing out to Harry Torpy. And uh, my goodness, I think it's about third to 11th now is, uh, is, this, is this battle. So uh, yeah, 40 seconds to go. That's what, three, two more laps, three more laps. I think it's all to play for really here for, the, for these kind of third to 10th. Spots. Yeah, this is uh, it's very good racing, but it is impossible for us to call. You can't keep up. You cannot keep up at all, um, especially if you're trying to point out all the different numbers and everything like that. But That's very entertaining. Well, that was the 18 of Sam Shaw we've just seen make a move there. He's moving up, so now up into 8th place. I think he was 10th or 11th last lap around. He was indeed 11th last lap. Now into 8th. He came 3rd in our Heat 1 yesterday. So Sam making a good one of this race too, and moving up uh, easily into the top 10. Could even get higher, maybe into the top 5 depending on how he plays the rest of this one out. Yeah, it's all oh, 73 Harry there. Torpy, yeah, that is. Torpy going ahead of Mullet as well, going into the right-hander towards the infield. And uh, it, it, again, this is, it must be exhausting. It's, it's pretty hard work to follow it. It must be exhausting <laughs> to be involved because you're constantly thinking forward, backwards, side to side, about your lines, about your braking zones. The, the sort of mental capacity that these drivers have is, is really off the charts. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. They, uh, they've got to be able to drive the car. Uh, as if it's the back of their hands, they know yeah. it so well. 
but uh, then they've also got to be able to battle throughout that. So uh, if you're not quite up to speed with the cart yet, battling that close to you can be so difficult and you can just be eaten alive. But there we go, Christmas corner down the inside goes the number 18. That's Sam Shaw continuing to move his, move his way up to the top 10. I believe that was on the 96 of Joe Charlton. Might lose out the position though, back to Joel I think. I think Joel might have just gone him back there as we look forward. This is still, sorry, this is still the 18 of Sam Shaw. Uh, being followed by the 96 of Joe Tarleton, then back behind it's it's uh, Harry Torpy, of course. We saw send the move slightly early on the lap. It looks like this might stay about the same around these parts of the race as Sam Henny does come across the line to take the win here in X30 Senior, followed by Lucas Enningham. So a great race for both of them, and the rest are going to come across the line now. It was Thomas Fleming in third position, then Marcus Littlewood in fourth, then Carly Atkins, someone we didn't mention through I think at all in that race, up into P5 has quietly made their way through off of speed by Lesson. Well done to Carly. Then Christian Brooks was in sixth. Sam Shaw in seventh. Joe Tarp, Charlton in eighth. And Harry Torpy in ninth. And Reese Newburn there in tenth. So uh, another interesting race there, I think, from the X30 seniors. But as predicted, Lucas Ellingham making his way through the order that's right. Yeah, Sam Heading. We didn't quite get the um, sort of grandstand fight that we I was maybe hoping for between Heading and Ellingham. Quite. But, you know... We've still got another couple of races to go. We've got two more heats. Uh, no, sorry, we've got one more heat and a final, I believe, um, with these drivers involved. Yes, yes just three heats in total, and they had one yesterday. Yes. That's, that's how maths works, Jack. That is how maths um, works. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, really good uh, racing from all involved, and hopefully they'll be uh, giving us just as much entertainment in a bat well, whenever they turn up next it's hard to say an hour because it might be an hour and a half it might be 45 minutes you never know but it's uh, whenever they next appear on our screens